Right, so uh, now I'm going to have a go at fitting this Hayden low coolant alarm um, I got from bongospares.co.uk. Cost about 70 quid. A lot of money, really. There's not a lot in a bag, but you know what? It's insurance, isn't it? 70 quid to make sure that I don't run out of coolant, which I have done before. Um, blew me radiator once, quite scary. Thought I'd uh, done more damage than that, but got away with it. Luckily, it was just a leaky radiator. No more damage. So uh, that was some time ago. But I don't want uh, any of my hoses to go, any of those renowned things that happen with bongos. So I'm going to fit this alarm. Seems really popular. Everyone seems to trust it. So yeah, I'm going to gonna go for this. After feeling confident from fitting my uh, fixing my faulty fuel gauge problem. I'm no mechanic, so don't trust me. Just <laughs> thought I'd film it. You know, someone might find it useful. Right, so Fred in the shed, old Paul Horsfall down at um, Discount Trucks in Newbury. He's a good lad. He um, he had a little show around a bongo. Once showed me how it was fitted, how to fit it. But it was about a year ago now. Should have fitted it sooner, really. I had a little look at these instructions in the past. A few bits and pieces and all that. The cable ties bits of bits. Look, that's a nice little sticker. Gonna go around this LED that's on here, which I think I'm gonna stick up through here somewhere. Put in one of these little places around here somewhere. I'm not sure. Most of the work with this little gizmo this is obviously the, the alarm um, and the LED. Most of the work I think is gonna be around here somewhere. Paul said wire it into the fuse box uh, find find a fuse in there somewhere that turns off with the ignition so I'll have a little fiddle about with that in a minute locate the, the buzzer up underneath the steering column there somewhere I think there's plenty of space around there to attach it um, it's under the bonnet under the bonnet got to screw a little hole in the header tank Look at that mucky bongo, look at the state of that. Looking all unloved at the minute. Up and down the motorway a lot. But, uh, should get a good polish soon. Right, I'm going to get in this bonnet, have a little look around and uh, see where we're at. So I've had a look. Um, I reckon I'm going to pop my screw in. Yeah, around about just above above the low halfway between I think halfway between each the, the full and the low probably round on the side just there um, so yeah I'm looking under here I'm gonna have to find a tidy route along the top out of the way of everything else don't want to get fouled up but there's plenty of cable ties in that packet uh, it does say to avoid things that are hot obviously so uh, anything that moves should be all right along the back there and then run the cable through there where the main wiring loom for the vehicle goes which looks very tight and look just now it looks really really tight where that cable goes through so maybe i might just put a little slit in there push the cable through but I haven't got a clue how I'm going to find it the other side because up there it is really tight. Oh, wait. I can't see where it's going to end up. But we're, we're working out, I'm sure. I'll just keep pushing it through and find the cable in the end. Um, so there we are. There's my fuse box. That little dog leg on there, I think. The guy who put my tow bar in with the caravan electrics on there, which I've never used because I haven't got a caravan. Um, but I think that means I've got a split charger, which I might use in the future. Um, I could use that little join up there. You see that little red join? Could use that. So uh, I'm going to see if that goes off with the ignition. Yeah, it probably doesn't, but I'll have a little look, fiddle about with that, and come back to you. 
so that was easy um, that first little bit there just put the screw in drilled the little pilot hole with the drill bit that's supplied with the kit um, screwed the self tapper in there I went for the front I did say I was going to put it on the side simply went for the front because I couldn't get the drill around there so uh, just went for the easy option and popped it on the front of the tank tiny little dribble the coolant tiniest little bit then it stopped screw that in there nice and tight now I've got to find somewhere rooting this cable along the back so that's that bit done there we go follow the route all out of the way out of harm's way hopefully nicked a little tiny hole just in there poked it through and in fact after fiddling about above the steering column for about five minutes I realized that that wiring loom that my main wiring loom obviously of course it makes sense that it comes in just behind the fuse box up there and just above the accelerator pedal alongside the rod and goes up to the cable there on the top of the accelerator that's where your cable comes through plenty of cable loads of spare right so i'm gonna to have to find somewhere to tuck that out of the way aren't i uh right next i'm gonna to have to unscrew this fuse box i'm gonna take that off as well find somewhere to put the buzzer up out of the way yeah let's have a look at that right so um yeah i deleted the video that i just made showing you all the bits that i've done so i'll quickly run back through it here we got um that the fuse box i took it out like i said i thought i had some scotch clips that apparently um are ideal for splicing into the cable i didn't i bought some i'm sure i bought some but never mind uh went old school used a chop block connector i don't know if that's ideal or not uh, i'm not an auto electrician so i don't know these things but uh, seems to do for me so yeah i ran the cable up over there that was obviously uh spliced into well, i should say spliced into uh something that i found that's live only when the ignition's on when it goes to ignitions off there's no power going to that it's earthed out onto this little bracket there's a bracket at the back here i don't know if you can see that little bit of metal there look see i've put a bolt through there the bolt above actually has got some more earths on it this one here put a little uh, bolt through there earthed it onto this bracket and you can see that phillips head there does the job lovely so run the rest of the cable and bunched it up using a cable tie onto that loom it's out of the way it's not rattling or rubbing on anything that there that little block black box that's the buzzer it sounds constantly when i unplug that orange cable which runs to the sensor on the header tank so when i plug it back in again because i've got water in there it stops sounding so from there up to here found this little uh, nice blank next to these two which actually are, i don't know what they are but there's lots of cables running to the back of them i thought best well leave them alone so that one there drilled it well popped it out with a flathead screwdriver used a 6.5 mil drill bit that was the fiddliest bit of the job i'd say yeah it took me about five or ten minutes fiddling about with a little grommet there that holds the led light in it's uh yeah that was a bit fiddly i don't know why that beat me but it did for a little while but uh yeah it's there quite a visible place down there next to the cigar lighter um so yeah i'll put the keys in show you that it all works quite pleased with myself actually so it's going to make a beeping noise because i've got the door open the keys in bongos make all sorts of beeps and buzzes so there we go we're we'll turning the ignition on light comes on it makes a buzz and it goes off turn it back off again it gives a little just a little flash that's the beeping again right. all the way on lovely and off yeah i'm pleased i'm pleased with myself it's not my sort of thing but i managed to do it quite quite simply took about an hour and a bit i suppose fiddling about with it so yeah thanks paul fred in the shed uh, for all your advice it was as easy as you said it was yeah